Alright, Master Maltese here, aka the Jedi Arms Dealer, back with the rest of the reveal for the Master Replicas Anakin Skywalker Revenge of the Sith Master Replicas World's First Conversion Switchblade to LED. Uh, High-powered LED and then also string blade as well. So again, we don't have to choose anymore um, which blade style or lighting system uh, we want to use anymore. Um, so I'm, I'm back now with the lights off, It'll, as dark as it can get, because uh, it is daytime out here in San Diego, California. Um, but I wanted to show you guys everything with the lights off, so you can check out the electronic blade plug, the in-hilt lighting effects and all of the blades which will go f quicker this time because I've got the LED the Cree LED bulbs already inserted in all the blades so here we go electronic blade plug let's see if we can get a little rotation on camera this time ah, a little bit there it is and then if I leave it on we've got the uh, shorted out blue flicker effect happening and you can actually see the flicker effect in all the hilt shine through effects um, where we drilled through of course the pins are out here um, and then on the bottom you can see them here let's see if I can get that there we go that's the bottom and let's flip it around that's my favorite one there it's almost like a like a clock effect kind of techy looking uh, with the way it's etched out. Um, so, yep. And then, counterclockwise. So we can see it again. Yeah, we're getting there. Alright. Counterclockwise. Okay. So let's pull the blade plug out. We'll go in reverse order this time. And we'll drop in LED string blade. Um, Let's see. Fire it up. Copper contacts to the top. And we'll just run through them real quick here. And there's your blue. And I forgot to mention before that this is blade stock from the Custom Saber Shop. It's one inch, so it's a little bigger than your stock Master Replicas type blade. But the electronics were moved out of the original blade and into this blade stock. Same exact length. Um, but uses the original Master Replica's LED string and then it gets wrapped because of the extra space in the blade because it, it's a couple millimeters bigger uh, wrapped around the diffusion foam uh, diffusion material and basically what this does is it helps reduce the dim spots between the LEDs that you can see even if all the LEDs are working um, that's kind of been one of the big complaints with the LED blades string blades is that you can see the dark spots between the LEDs. You have to look really hard to find them in this one because of the extra diffusion material. Um, virtually impossible in complete darkness. So there's your blue. Um, and it's definitely an improved looking blade for sure. And because there's no clear part to the trans white from the Custom Saber Shop on the outside of the blade, this blade actually looks quite a bit bigger, which everyone, and I feel, makes it look more movie accurate. So, all right, let's uh, power it down. Next. And this is kind of ironic because I guess this would be considered the high-end version of the Anakin Change Blade um, that you can find at Walmart sometimes. Um, this would be the high-end version and it changes <laughs> from blue to red. So, here we go, turn to the dark side red. Again, nice bright Cree LED. Now in the blade instead of the hilt. Alright, let's power down. Again, same blade stock from the Custom Saber Shop, one inch trans white with diffusion material. Much better looking blade now with the, uh, the upgraded materials. Alright, Starting off with our LED blades, we've got our single in-blade LED blades. Uh, we've got 
the um, the dagger size little guy bullet tip diffusion material inside all of the blades except for the recycled blade um, so here we go I believe the bulb we left in here was Oops. try that again I put it in upside down ah, it's dark in here here we go oh so this is the uh, ultraviolet bulb and you know I wish I had some neon stuff but I just don't so that I can show you guys um, yeah, so there's that. Again, he looks, looks really bright on camera, but it's not as bright as the other blades. Um, and then I'll switch over to the red real quick to again review just how easy it is to swap these around. I'll spin it out. There goes the black light UV. It's kind of a UV purple, but not a full purple like Mace Windu purple. But, um, I think that's the first time anyone's put one of those in a lightsaber, I'm not sure yet. So let's insert the red. Again, dagger blade. Fire it up. There we go, red. <clears throat> All right, we really like the inhale lighting effects on the red. It looks pretty sweet coming through. Let's see it there. I should also, on a side note, you don't get as much of the inhale through lighting effects when you're using the LED string blades because it's not like a single high powered LED back further in the blade when you insert it. So the effects don't shine through quite as much when you're using the red and blue LED string blades. Just thought I'd point that out. So let's see, moving backwards again, we're going to go to Shoto length blade. Again, one inch trans material from the custom saber shop right there we go beautiful bright blue and you're going to hilt lighting effects coming through and so there's the blue shoto with bullet tip blade amazing blue really like this one goes well with the Anakin. Alright, moving on to the green recycled blade. Again, this one is the original Master Replica's plastic blade and left the original plastic diffuser in there um, with the original tip. Although, added a mirrored tip, so now you got a nice evenly lit blade inside this one just like all the others. Oh, and yes, all the others are mirrored reflective tips um, so a lot of testing and detail work went into making sure these blades are evenly lit from top to bottom um, it's, it's really nice I mean I'm pretty sure you can see it on camera that there's not too many dim spots at all but um, here we go here's the green green Cree LED so let me hold it back here I'm talking about evenly lit blades and the best way to tell is in the reflection of the table. Of course, you've always got it a little brighter at the one end. Um, but sitting right here, it's pretty darn even. Maybe the Master Replica's recycled blade isn't the best for this example because um, the diffusion paper does a better job. Um, the diffusion material does a better job in the Custom Saber Shop trans white blade. So let me throw one of those in there real quick. Let's go backwards to the Shoto. And then you guys can see what I'm talking about with the evenly lit blade. All right. There we go. All right, so here's the blue. And if you look at the reflection in the table, you can see pretty evenly lit. Again, always more lit towards the hilt. And probably the tip because of the reflective mirrored bullet tip. Um, but nice and bright. All right. And then last but not least is your convention cosplay blade that always looks blue during the daytime with the chrome looking diffusion material um, and bullet tip, mirrored tip. And we've got the white Cree LED in here because this blue colored blade needs a very bright bulb to light it up. 
um, especially during the day. So fire it up and drop it in there. And there we go. That is a white Cree inside of there, inside the blade. And fairly evenly lit, I think because this is a blue blade with a white LED. Um, it's much harder to get this one evenly lit, but it, it looks nice. So there it is, the full review of everything this new Sabre can do. Um, always working on upgrades. One of the new things I've been playing around with is a purple bulb. And of course you need color mixing, and because we've made these custom virtually bulletproof with a brass housing um, and focusing optics and uh, electronics inside and even uh, a heat, a proper heat sink. Um, this is a multi-die LED inside of here. It actually is a red, green, blue, white all in a single housing. And so I've been playing with the idea of using the different sequencing leads that come out of the hilt that make the ignition and retraction of the movie effect happen and firing up the two different dies in here and let me pull out the Shoto blade and let's take this bulb out take the blue Cree out and we'll insert the new this one's still in experimental mode but just finish soldering it up and we can do multi modes now inside the bulb electronics. So, here we go. Purple. A true purple. A bright purple. There it is. Now, because this is a multi-bulb mode, bulb, why did I say that? Multi? Yeah. You get the gist. <laughs> I can shut it off and turn it back on, and it goes into high power mode, which actually cranks up the the amps and the voltage to both the red and the blue LEDs in the die, and we get a magenta, almost hot pink, I don't know. You guys decide. Then when I shut it off again, what happens is it goes into third mode, and it toggles between the red and the blue flashing, and we get a flashing purple. So now the bulbs contain strobing effects. Uh, the next step after this is to wire up an LED die that can do flash on clash, if I'm allowed to say that. Um, so there it is. That is the full review, tutorial, and manual for Jedi Arms Dealer's Outpost Conversion of Anakin's lightsaber from Revenge of the Sith. Being able to turn from the light side to the dark side with any blade tech type. And there it is. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Um, leave comments, all that stuff that always has to be said at the end of a YouTube video, and uh, questions, and uh, we'll take it from there. So, as always, may the Force be with you. Jedi Arms Dealer, out.